Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's uh, Blast Break Guy. Today I have a mail day from uh, Lysol 15, as well as um, some uh, open packs from a couple of blaster boxes. One is for uh, Topps Chrome Baseball, and the other one's for Fleer Ultra Football, but I'll do that last. Uh, yeah, the packs have already been opened because I just couldn't uh, contain myself. And oh well. All right, uh, this package is, for, is from uh, Lysol 15. Uh, he told me he's gonna send me some cards. Uh, they're they're free cards. He didn't have to send anything, uh, but being the nice guy that he is, he uh, sent me. He told me he sent me some uh, Chargers uh, PC cards. So, anyways, I saw him an Antonio Cromarty uh, SP Authentic autograph card, and so he told me he's gonna give me something in return. I tell him don't. But well, let's see. Here's a letter from uh, Lysol15, aka Todd. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and read this. Uh, how's it, Tuan? Thanks for giving me a deal on the Cromarty Auto. I really appreciate that. I'm enclosing a couple of cards for you. Hope you like it. Take care and stay cool, bro. And there's his uh, autograph right there. Todd, um, I can say his last order oh, is Hiwatashi, I think. Hmm. I know he lives in Hawaii, and uh, I think that's Jap uh, that's a Japanese uh, last name, so. Very cool. And, um,. Wow, I can already see. Wow, it's a nice card. Oh, wow. LT Upper Deck Vintage. No way. Is this his rookie card? 2001 Upper Deck Company. No way. you got to be kidding me. You know what? This is uh, actually my first LT Rookie card ever. I don't have any LT Rookie cards. No way. Oh my gosh, this is too much, man. And an LT die cut number 61 out of 79 from uh, Donner's Elite Aspirations. Wow. Man, th this is... I thought he's, gonna, he's just going to send me a couple of uh, common base cards, but he sent me an LT rookie card. Can you guys believe that? That's crazy, man. You know, i got to send him something back to you. Anyways, uh, thank you so much, man. Make sure you guys subscribe to um, Lysol15. He's an awesome guy. I've seen uh, most of his videos, and uh, he just seems like a really uh, cool, uh, uh, laid-back type of guy. A wonderful guy to deal with. You can trust him, definitely. All right, thanks so much, Todd. All right, um, wow. I wasn't expecting that. All right, uh, let's see. I think I have, like, around, probably around, like, 20 packs total. I think there were like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 packs of Topps Chrome Baseball and one bonus pack and also like 12 packs of Ultra Football. And I already opened it, so I'll show you guys what I got. Okay, David Ortiz, uh, Vladimir Guerrero, uh, Topps Trading Card History, a Refractor, Justin Morneau, and a Jimmy Rollins. I'm going to separate them by uh, PC cards and cards that I'm not going to keep. Gary Sheffield, uh, a refractor of, um, who's this guy, Brad Hopp of uh, Colorado Rockies, a re uh, gold refractor of Hiroki Kuroda of the Dodgers, a John Lackey of the Angels, and the Angels are getting their butts kicked by uh, Red Sox Nation, <laughs> Barazita of the Giants, uh, Hunter Pence of uh, the Astros, Next director of Johan Santana and Adrian Gonzalez of the Padres, my Padres. Daisuke Matsuzaka of the Red Sox. Uh, Bobby Abreu of the New York Yankees. Uh, Blue refractor of Francisco Liriano and, and Elijah Dukes. Next up, uh, Denard Spain of the Twins. Uh, Josh Beckett of the Red Sox Nation, uh, Cletty or Clet Thomas of the Tigers, Refractor, and a Josh Hamilton Base. <coughs> Carl Delgado Base, uh, Dustin Pedroia. This is a really cool card. It's a Topps Heritage, number 1764 out of 1959 uh, for the Red Sox. An Extractor of uh, Carlos Ruiz and a Ryan Terra of the Cubs. I'm surprised the Cubs aren't doing better than they are. What I understand is um, they didn't play uh, hard down the stretch because they, they had already wrapped up uh, the National League. So, um, I don't know, maybe that took away some of their mojo. Plus, um, 
they're playing a lot of night games, or the first two games were night games, and that's very odd because usually the Cubs, when they play in Wrigley Field, they play day games, so that kind of sucks for them. Uh, Rocco Badelli of the Tampa Bay Devil Rays, uh, Mickey Mantle, Chrome, very nice of the Yankees. I'm a huge Yankees fan, even though the Padres are my number one team. I'm also a big fan of the Yankees. Dan Heron, a refractor of the Diamondbacks, which is nice, and a Greg Zahn of the Blue Jays. And the bonus pack was um, a Luke uh, Hotrevar, as well as a Matt Holliday. Uh, what, what type of insert is this? I don't know. You guys tell me. All right, for the Fleer Oscar football, uh, I, don't get, I didn't get anything special. I just got this Santana Moss of um, uh, University of Miami and a bunch of base cards. Next pack, just a bunch of base card. I didn't get any autos or jerseys, just uh, a lot of base cards. This is what you get when you buy blaster boxes. I know I bought two today, but I haven't been buying very many lately. Here's an insert pay dirt of uh, Sean Alexander of the Seahawks. It's a pretty cool looking card with a big TD right there. More base. Uh, here's another rookie card I got. This is actually pretty cool. It's uh, Brandon Jackson of uh, Green Bay Packers. He's actually a very uh, highly touted rook or player. More base. And Jarvis Moss uh, out of Florida. This is rookie card. Also not numbered. base. Uh, here's a uh, an insert, Ultra Stars of Roy Williams of the Lions who just uh, fired their GM. It's about time. They fired uh, Matt Millen. The guy's uh, did no good for the Lions. He did terrible with draft picks. And more base. Alright guys, um, so those are my two blaster boxes and uh, my mail day from Lysol. Um, again, if you guys have any um, refractor cards, from any of the three major sports, like uh, baseball, football, or basketball. If you guys have any blue refractors, X refractors, gold refractor, any refractors, um, just let me know. Uh, maybe we can work out a trade because I'm trying to collect them. Alright guys, uh, have a wonderful week. Later.